Welcome back to The Wolf and the Melody. My name's Tommy, and uh, we are continuing our Pure Reason Revolution with, uh, apparently, this song is part two to Useless Animal, and this song is called Betrayal. Useless Animal is about having to say goodbye to a pet and uh, putting it down, I believe. Um, really, really great song. Powerful, just sad, but... This is apparently part two, and uh, I got to see more. So, y'all, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for taking time out of your day and uh, being a part of this journey with me. This channel is meant to bring us together, to be a positive force in your life. And uh, thanks for being here. Now let's go. It's a cool I think it's sick.
dude. Oh my god. Um It's a cruel betrayal and you earned this with eyes full of terror. Now you've you've blurred it and you pulled us into love. And your soul brings flashes, lie still, but it's ashes into dust. Now, the body's still, but I'm here. Crimson fields, your bed. I'm the cruel betrayer, but I yearned it. The skies pool, we tremor, and you turn, kiss. And it cracked against the blood in your soul, and you soul... It passes by still through your ashes into dust. Now the body's still, but I'm here. Crimson fields your bed. You're restless in the morgue. Wake up. Hold me tight. Hold me. Don't go. It's a cruel betrayal, and I love you, my friend. I'll protect you to the end. Not built to feel your death. It shakes me to the core. Wake up. Crimson fields your bed, and I wake you. I loved you, my friend, and I was there till the end. God damn it. Dude, this one like hits harder than useless animal. So like I mentioned about Sam and I, I never really mentioned how he died. <laughs> so Sam was young. Uh, he was a little ginger cat. In fact, um, a friend of mine, they got me a little stone um, kitty cat that kind of resembles a ginger. I have it in front of my computer here. You see that? And um, that's Sam. And uh, when when I got him, he was uh, malnourished. He was really small, like palm of my hand small. And um, I remember uh, it was our first time. We already had two cats by the time we had kids. So this was the first kitten to grow up with my kids. And uh, I always picked a cat. I have like this spiritual connection with cats. I always have. And I always feel like they have picked me. Every cat that I've had a relationship with or have had has been something special. And um, I remember uh, the family was out in the car and they say, go in and, and find us a cat. So I go in and I just walk around. I'm looking at all the kittens. And Sam is like all bundled up and he's crying. And he had a really bad sickness, sinus infection or whatever. And um, I remember picking him up. And this woman said to me, she goes, you don't want him. He's sick. And I, I'm looking at him and he is just, he's curled up. I'm holding him like this. And he's just curled up kind of under my beard. And I said, I'll take him. So we take him. And he ends up just growing huge. And he, it's funny, even at three years old, he still had that baby face. He still had that little kitten face. But he was big. He got so big. He didn't get fat. He just got big. And um, we got divorced. And uh, somehow he went downhill real quick. And uh, I still don't. All the details are. There's some details that are just a little rough. But I remember. uh I came home, I came to the house to get the kids and it was really quick. Like the last time I saw him, he was walking. And when I opened the door to come in, um, my ex said, Hey, Sam is really not good. So brace yourself. And I'm like, what happened? Like he was just fine. I walk in the living room. I walk around the corner and he's laying there in the doorway of my son's room. And he's like, he lost so much weight and he couldn't open his eyes and he couldn't walk. And I, I come around the corner and I look at him and I broke and I said, Sam. And I felt like 
the worst human in the world because this little kitty, no one wanted him. No one wanted him. And he chose, he chose us. He chose me. And we took him. We were like, like saviors. You know what I mean? Like no one wanted him. Here we come in and we see this little kitty that no one wants. And we, we go, we'll take him. And he grows. And, and there were some things that happened. Details I don't want to include in this. And I felt like the biggest like asshole because it felt like I betrayed him. Like. It's like we saved him to die. And so I sit there and I start crying, man. And I get down on the floor and I'm just like, Sam. Oh, Sam, I'm so sorry, Sam. And he heard my voice. He couldn't open his fucking eyes. He couldn't open his eyes. And he crawls to me. I'm sitting Indian style in the hallway and he crawls to me. And he crawls into my lap. And he dies. Yeah. It was just tough, man. It was just tough because I was, you know, starting life over and he was so young. I didn't think I'd lose him. And that messed me up, man. It still messes me up. It's been, it's been about a year and a half, two years and I'm still like, uh, yeah. Guys, ah, I love music. I love music that makes me feel and makes me reminisce. But yeah, this was another great song by them. Musically, just awesome. Great vocals, great melody, um, heart-wrenching. They know how to write music. They are, they know how to write a song and uh, to convey emotion and make you reminisce. They're sharing their pain of what they've been through, and it makes you think about yours. I know, man. Like, look, guys, I'm not joking. I have, like, pins of cats right in front of my computer. Look at this. And we got a kitty cat with a butcher knife in his mouth. Not that he's eat. You know, it's, it's cute, like Halloween. <laughs> I love cats. Um, Y'all, thank you so much for being here. Thank you um, for hearing my story. And allowing me to talk about it. Um, yeah. If you guys like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram. I appreciate you all so much for being here and just taking time out of your day. And um, just know you matter. Who you are matters. And you are so important. And your life has meaning. You are more important than this video. You are more important than all of this. So please know that you are loved no matter what you're going through right now, no matter what kind of pain you're feeling, you're loved, okay? So stay lovely and stay metal. We'll be back with another video.